Satan Sphinx is a video urban legend that said to have been banned by the government due to its horrifying and disturbing content, driving anyone who watched it into insanity, leading to them ending their own life. I'm not watching that fuck shit. Not doing it. All of this isn't real, obviously. However, unlike other video urban legends that have a concrete origin, Satan Sphinx is still a mystery. Some of you might be thinking, well, what do you mean? Scared Theater already provided an origin years ago. Honestly, I don't think so. I'm inclined to believe the email he received was another hoax, as the dates don't line up when it comes to a key point from the video. I'll give a summary of what was told in the email sent to Scare Theater. For simplicity, I'll refer to the emailer as Jay. Jay reveals the legend was created by him, along with the help of some friends, as a joke to mock creepypastas at the time. The screenshot is just a photo from an album by the band Hellhorse. The reason why it was chosen is that it was Jay's favorite band. The earliest date to Satan Sphinx can be traced to a Yahoo Answers post. Jay didn't create this post, but has a feeling about how it came to be. He remembers someone overhearing his group of friends telling their story to another friend while at a restaurant near DC. Out of curiosity, a man who overheard asks Jay what exactly a Satan Sphinx was, prompting Jay to tell him it was a band film in Argentina while giving him a printed out copy of the image and leaving shortly thereafter. Now, this is where things get iffy. Hellhorse released Decades of Dust in 2011. So, in 2009, how could he have chosen this image from his favorite band if they hadn't even used it yet? You could say the photo was added to the story afterward, but Jay tells us how he gave someone a copy of the image at the restaurant, which supposedly led to the Yahoo Answers post. It's a small detail with a huge continuity error. Also, I just want to point out how odd it is that they would just have a printout of this photo with them at a restaurant. Unless their goal was to only mention Satan Sphinx to a friend and make them believe the story, it's odd they just had this with you. It was also supposedly given to the man who overheard them talking. So was it his goal to pass the copy of the photo to someone, like an art portfolio, or they just happened to do it because he saw his chance? <laughs> One more thing to add is the Argentina origin. You think the user would want to clarify or mention this was a film from Argentina, but it's nowhere to be found. I know I'm overanalyzing this, but it makes it a lot less believable than before. The image didn't even originate from Hellhorse. I can't say for certain where it came from or who made it, but right off the bat, it does not depict an actual kidnapping or murder of any kind, despite what posts like this try to tell you. It's supposed to be a photo representing the legend of Krampus. I'd say that this is from an old postcard, but I could be wrong. Searching for other creepy and vintage Krampus postcards will meet you with images that look very similar. How did all this come to be, and what prompted the user on Yoho Answers to make the post? Saying Sphinx has had to exist beforehand, or else this and the response to stop looking into it wouldn't make any sense unless this whole post was a hoax to begin with, and truly the origin this whole time. A part of me believes it latter as with little to no information of what this film was beforehand, it seems like this was meant to be some sort of joke, but that's nothing but pure speculation, as who knows if these two were in on it or trolling each other without even knowing. As of now, I'd say this is still a mystery.